Yes, sir. Hey, let me update on Twitter. You, you, you tweeted it? Yes. Okay, okay. Let me go read it. First of all, what did this win mean for you guys tonight? Uh, honestly, you know, coach always preach about, like, when we lose, come back and get one. And so happened that Duke was just the next team we played. So, you know how that go. He wanted us to play hard and go go after him. So, Quavon, did this one mean a little bit more to you, getting your first win against these guys? Uh, personally, the only reason it mean more to me because they ain't recruit me. So, you know, I always go at them North Carolina teams. How big was it not just to end the half on a run, but to come out and start hitting threes in the second two to keep that mode going? Uh, that felt good to me, you know, and my teammates, I can't do it without them. Uh, they're the reason I'm getting open shots and good looks, so I appreciate my teammates. T, you struggled the last couple of games going into this one. You really blew the roof off this place. What do you think you play in the team play tonight? How did you guys come so professional? Uh, we just locked in, you know. It's, it's all about the prep before the game. We had good prep, good pr two practices. Uh, we pushed each other in practice, and we just wanted it, you know. In the first half, uh, Kyle Polkowski missed a three, and then you guys uh, hit a three. I think it was uh, it was Jarkel, and you guys stole the ball backcourt and you hit the three pointer. That a, a series like that, you know, did that let you know how this game was going to go? And did this kind of show you kind of how prepared you guys were for this game? Now? Uh, yeah, that just let let me know that we wanted it more than them, you know. Uh, with Jarkel, you know, that's like fuel to my fire, you know. So to see him up hype and going, uh, that just makes me up hype and going with him. So that's just how that went. They said they were not able to match the intensity that you guys did, like, especially in the beginning of the game. I mean, what was it about the start and the defense that you guys played? Uh, we just wanted to get up in them. Uh, we preached a lot about how teams think they're nice just because the name on the front of their jersey. So, you know, we just took it personal. We sat down on them. Obviously, it's a long way from home, but how big was this for the you know, potential resume as well? Uh, big. Quad one win. I mean, it gets no better than that, right? So, it was a big win for us, and I'm happy. You guys have been really close in a lot of these, like Kansas and Miami, obviously, but how big was it to actually come away with a win and convincingly at that? Hey, man, I can't even tell you the feeling I'm feeling right now. Uh, this is my first time being a ranked team, so, you know, I'm all for it. You're from North Carolina, and you grew up watching Duke and everything. Well, how does that feel for you from that standpoint? Uh, that means a lot to me, you know, growing up watching the, They have powerhouses, like, every year. Coach K, uh, great coach, you know. Uh, I wish he was still there, you know, so we could have got that win. But, you know, it was, growing up watching them was always fun. NC State. Damn, it's 15 nothing. Maybe scored a point yet. Uh, nah, I just wanted to keep going at him. Yeah, okay, man. What were you thinking with that start? You guys got off to such a hot start. What was the message when they were calling so many timeouts? Uh, just we just wanted to keep going. You know, keep throwing punches. Don't play on the hill on our heels because we're winning. Just keep going at them. See if they can handle it or see if they're gonna throw one back. How important is DJ Burns to this team? Oh, my guy, he's 30. Uh, he's he, he, he very great to the team because he inside presence. So you have to double him the majority of the time. So that just opens everybody else up. And him being able to score so easily, it just helps us. NC State is 3-0 and at this point against Duke in PNC Arena under Kevin Keats. When you're allowed to have full capacity here, how big is it to have the fans in the stands and have that kind of crowd tonight? Uh, that means a lot, uh, just like any other place, you know. It means a lot to have fans here, everybody in here, that environment. You can't just beat that environment. Appreciate you.